Xavier, you come from a very intellectual, smart family, and a lot of them are scientists. And while you were a musician, you also studied at the London School of Economics. And tell me <laughs> about well, this. Well, uh, yeah, because in my family, there had never been artists before. So my parents were a little bit worried, and they said, you have to study something serious first, and then you will do what you want. Um, and I, well, academics was a very strong field for me, and so you could tell that uh, my, my, my teachers, when I was in Paris or then in London, said, what a waste to become <laughs> a musician. You could really do something great and, uh, um, well... Make a lot of money. <laughs> make a lot of money. a businessman. But I realized when I was in, in, in London, actually, um, I didn't have my harp for a few months. And I used to go to Covent Garden to listen to the opera and to the concert. Oh, and yeah. I realized that uh, I was missing my harp so much for Do these you, weeks that you, I thought... you feel miserable, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. I felt, okay, this is interesting what I'm learning, but it's not my life. It's, I, I've, I need something else to express myself. Uh -huh. So I thought if I can't... Um, live without my harp for a few months, then mm -hmm. it means that I should really try to, to pursue in this direction. And um, at that time also I, I met uh, Nicanor Zabaleta, who was a very famous harpist um, of the 20th century. And um, he told me, you know, there are a lot of great lawyers or businessmen, but there's just one harpist like you. And so it gave me like a lot of confidence to say, okay, I, tr oh. I go for it. What nationality is he? He's, he was uh, Spanish. Spanish. And mm. uh, he played really in the 20th century. He's the only example of somebody who played a real uh, solo career all over the world at that time. Mm. So he encouraged his... He encouraged me, yes. And, uh, and then, um, well, it, it went very quick because I, on this, it's the same year when I decided to stop um, the, my normal studies, I got the job in Munich with the Bavarian Radio Orchestra with Lorin Mazel, okay. which was an amazing orchestra. And then two years later, I moved to, to Vienna. Vienna, you and got the principal uh, harpist. Yes, beautiful orchestra, also mm -hmm. playing in the, in the opera because I love opera. For me, mm. the most beautiful instrument is the voice. Who is your favorite opera composer? Uh, <laughs> well, I'm several. I would say uh, Richard Strauss, Strauss uh, uh -huh. Elektra and Salome, and, um, yeah. and Puccini I like I also. Love Puccini. <laughs> I love Puccini. Sometimes so you much. shouldn't. Uh, uh, yeah, people are um, not considered as like, I just, uh, very uh, but for great music. But for mm -hmm. me, it's like playing in the opera, the beautiful mm -hmm. harp parts in Bohème, mm -hmm. or in, in the. It, it, you play a lot. A with the solo yeah, singer. Yeah, yeah, it's really like, in, because I, I feel like the, um, what you, are, you can play in the uh, opera is much more interesting than in the symphonic repertoire as a harpist. I know. Mm -hmm. And so you don't have to wait that much and you have like <laughs> very nice parts. <laughs>